Christmas to all and to all a good night. But before you go to bed, you're hanging with us, ladies and gentlemen, on Gaw TV. It's myself, so Calval, Mickey James, and celebrating Hanukkah in fabulous style. It's Lisa Marie Barron. How are we doing, ladies? Oh, so good. How, how, how? Woo! What you what you call me? What? <laughs> I actually oh. didn't self proclaim proclaim, proclaim that I was a, a hoe, Godfather hoe. You, you were. You know what? Yeah. So you were the OG H O and OG Ho. I love the Godfather's hose. Yeah, I did that too. Was my I did. Yeah, was my Lita door. was a Godfather ho too. I know. Yeah. What what was she? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -oh. Yeah. You guys, we just started the show, and the nostalgia is running wild. And what a better time than Merry Trishmas? That's a hashtag. Merry Trishmas, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. We are so excited about this episode. We thought we would pull out all the stops as it is the holiday season. And we want to make sure that you are following all of our antics on social media because there's more fun where this came from. It's hashtag God TV to join the conversation. We want to hear from all of you how you liked this episode. Make sure you comment below as well. And while you're here on YouTube, you know you're already here, you may as well like this video. Uh-huh. Give us a thumbs up. Make sure, this is the most important part, you guys, make sure that you subscribe to our channel. Be a part of Team Gaw. Oh, you don't have a bell. You're supposed to have a bell. I don't have a bell. So if anyone knows where I can get a cute bell, I was looking for, look, hang on. Oh, there you go, oh yeah. There you, you go, Mickey, Mickey has her bell. I have all kinds of bells. <laughs> Click that jingle bell icon to enable notifications. It's the best lumber party of the year and we saved all of the fun for our Christmas episode, our Merry Trishmas episode. But before we get to our fabulous guest, ladies, Listen, we said we were going to have a theme, but I couldn't believe when I turned the computer on how fantastic you guys look. You look beautiful. Oh, I love you. Oh, you look fantastic. God. It's oh, so great. God. If my tree stays yeah. up, I mean, that's a good sign from God, because last time... It did not happen. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> well, I couldn't help it. You know, the holidays are... I mean, I love the holidays, and just I couldn't wait for this episode. We've been looking forward to it for so, so long, and I think that we've also been looking forward to this guest for so, so long, so I think what better way to celebrate, you know, such a magical holiday for all of us. Absolutely. All it's going to be, be, be very stratifying. So <laughs> stratifying, yes. <laughs> You know what? I think after this damn 2020 year that we've had, we need some serious stratisfaction for sure. No doubt. That's it. No, no doubt. doubt. Well, my drink is melting, but we can't get to that part because we have a special guest coming on, and I think I'm going to nominate Mickey James. Whoa! Slash Elf James to do the intro for our fantastic guest, as you guys have a very, very long history, a very torrid love affair, in fact. Well, it, probably the longest rivalry ever, if you will. We made, we made that a hashtag, you know, and it's so hard. It's, I think that I just adore Trish so much. And, and because she was like, that was the angle when I first came in and we just, she just helped me so much. And plus we had this amazing storyline to boot, but she's just an incredible human being. She's an incredible mother. She's a seven time women's champion, a hall of famer, three time babe of the year, but just an all around, just amazing woman. And I'm so grateful that we could have her here on our show. Lisa has a ton of history with her, too. Val, I know that you guys haven't met yet, but you guys are going to be best friends by the time it's over. You know, totally. I, I told you guys, we met, like, very, very briefly, and she's one of those gals that I am, I'm going to fangirl. Like, I actually have never had much interaction with her ever, other than kind of, like, at a signing, like, oh, my God, Trish Stratus is over there. That's really cool. I, I'm not going to go say hi. So yeah. if, I, if you've ever seen me quiet in one of these shows, it might be tonight. So I'm, I'm silently fangirling right here, right now. Um, <laughs> And, and the one time I, I choose not to drink alcohol on the show, great. Yeah. I use some liquid courage. What an idiot. Right. Yeah. 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 But I, obviously, she, a, a great friend of yours, Lisa, as well. Yeah. Um, uh, my first angle was with her, too, Mickey. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we had a long, long angle and really freaking throw down matches, like where. Kick ass matches. Yes. Uh, yeah. We, we tore it up, tore it up. Yeah. But we, you know, and like our philosophy was like, let's have the best match. Not the best female match, the best match of the card, right? No, like all of the girls no. had that mentality. Yeah. Yep. Oh my gosh. Okay, now, now I'm even more nervous. Holy crap. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> it's Mary Trishmas and our guest of honor is here. Ladies and gentlemen, Trish Stratus. There she is. Hi. There she is. 
You hottie toddy mama. Oh my gosh, look at your little Trish elf on the shelf in the background. Oh, what? Yes. <laughs> oh, you look, wow, you guys look adorable. Thank you so you much. Thank you to, but my hair looked too good today, so I okay. just. <laughs> Girl, you do you, boo. Well, I was just telling the girls what a big fan I am, and they were having some, uh, recalling some memories of yours. We've wanted to have you on this show, actually, from the beginning, and I would say you're probably our our most requested uh, grown-ass woman to be on the show. So thank you for being here. Of course. Thank you. Yes. I know um, I was in a bit of like a top knot, steady, not this mode for a while. So I just finally kind of creeped out of the, out of the bubble. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. We love it. Well, first question, if I can ask, talking about being in a bubble, how has lockdown been treating you? I mean, have you been thriving or some days doing good, some days bad? Um. Well, I think, honestly, I want to say we're thriving. It's hard to say that out loud because there's such you know, terrible things happening in the world and a lot of people are not doing well and not thriving and things like that. So, you know, you want to be careful when you say that out loud. Um, but I mean, we've, what we've done is try to make the best of the situation. And, um, you know, and I mean, having this time with my kids is, is what are you eating? What is Sorry, it? What's, I ha I, we, we prepared hot cocoa for you and it keeps dripping. So I'm like, it's going to get on my carpet or on my hands. So I have to figure cool. this out. Fill up my cup then. <laughs> do you have your own mug? Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> and where can we purchase that? I mean, I don't, this was made by a fan, but I'm going to get my oh. name on it. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. I, I love that. that. Oh my God. Now available on Tristratus.com. Get your own yes. mug. Right? Because be a little, little Trishmas sale. I'll just put it on sale and often say people can buy it and, and go into the new year with some Trishmas cheer. <laughs> Hashtag um, Christmas cheer. I love it so much. Well, actually, that's our favorite part of the show is to ask our guests and then we'll, we'll follow suit. Who are you wearing and what are you drinking this evening, my dear? Okay, so I'm, I'm drinking hot cocoa. It's um, by Cadbury's. That's a Ooh. brand, right? Very so Canadian of you. <laughs> and I'm wearing a ugly sweater by George. You may be familiar with the brand George. It's uh, George, like yes. From the Walmart. The Mart yes. of Walmart. It's a great brand. I do and look quite thrifty. And um, yeah, it actually lights up, but it's a couple years old and it doesn't light up anymore. But that would have been fun. So it's, it's so vintage. Cute. It's officially yeah. vintage. If it's after a couple yeah. of years, it's definitely vintage. <laughs> Stop yeah, there you go. Well, Lisa, do you hear that? Tristratus is like you. We're always talking about how thrifty we all are. Yes. We love our bargains. <laughs> but you know that about me. That is my thing. Being frugal and thrifty is my thing, right, girls? I love yeah, that. I, mine too. Oh, mine too. I, 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 I plug in the Dollar Tree every freaking show, and we should be having sponsorship by the Dollar Tree or ninety nine mm -hmm. cent store. That's <laughs> that's my store. There we, you go. We are planning uh, a special photo shoot. So for, for those of you that are on our Patreon, patreon.com slash TV, we have special photo shoots, special themes that we like to do, and you're going to have all of these photos of us in our. We keep calling them ugly holiday sweaters, but they're actually quite cute. I should say. Cute, yeah. I well, yeah. thank you. <laughs> Lisa did mention that she was going to do a Hanukkah sweater, but I had no idea it was going to be so vibrant with all of your accoutrement. You look fabulous. I love okay, it. Well, the, this hat, uh, Mickey, Mickey, remember we went to Australia? Yes, I, I do. Is that I, there? Still have it. I still have it. My, my shirt does light up too, Trish. It's oh. lit up, but you can't see because my ring light's so bright. Ah, and yes. So young, but personality yes, is up. so bright, right? <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love the sets that we've created. This is so fun. Yay! Oh, she's got matching knee highs. Oh, and oh, this, this is a great trip, hey. ladies and gentlemen. Hold on, I'm blown up. I'm blown oh. up. Oh. Look at knee that socks. fancy knee pants. Socks. Knee socks. Yes. Are those socks or pants? You never those thought it pants? Those are cute. Never thought to wear pants. Wait, what, what? I think she was asking if they were socks or pants. Oh, they I, socks? I never thought to wear pants. Um, they are um, stretchy <laughs> pants, my stretchy pants, and then uh, socks. But actually, they're, okay, they're actually they're leggy. Really oh, my God, I have a hole in my sock. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what? I do. I have a hole in my sock. <laughs> anyway, these are, these are like leg warmers, so like they come out of your boot, and it's just adorable, so. Yes. Dollarama? Ooh. Dollarama? That, we don't have a Dollar Tree here in uh, Canada, but do you guys have Dollaramas as well, or is that like just, no. is that the No, Dollarama? I think that's a, yeah. It's Canadian. Canada, I'm Canada. actually in England, so we have Poundland, which is like our equivalent of Dollar Tree, yes. Right. I love that name. Poundland. Poundland. Yeah. <laughs> 
Why? Why do we love that? We don't want pounds. I don't pound know. town. I pound know. How does it sound cute? Like pounds and pence. And you know what's horrible is that, sorry, British people watching. Shout out to Wayne, who's always in the chat room. Love ya. But they say things like, you know, we'd say like, okay, a buck or a cash. And we have kind of slang. They'll yeah. say it, it's only like 20 quid. Quid is not a nice sounding word. Terrible. Yeah. I don't understand the pound or like the loonies and the toonies. It's just like extra oh. coins. I'm sorry. It's just, it's, it's like I have to need, need a bigger change purse and it's heavier in it. Do we have a dollar coin now anyway in the U.S.? Do we? We do have a dollar coin. It's golden, but not a whole lot of people keep it. Like you just kind of, is it a gold or is that the $2 one? Silver, I think it's silver dollar. Silver dollar. Silver dollar. There's a gold yeah. one. That's the $2 maybe. We do okay. have them, but nobody uses them. They keep them for good luck. Yeah. I've never seen that. Interesting. There, there's no, there's no two dollar yeah. tree. This is why Lisa's not familiar because we're yeah. loyal to the actual dollar tree. That does make sense. And, and do they? Is it literally everything's a dollar? No. Oh yeah. No, no. Oh, dollar tree, everything is a dollar. Oh, is it? Is it nine nine cents? Is store is dollar a dollar and up? Dollar and up. Yeah. Just like five yeah. below is everything start. It's five or below, but then it's like not really that's because cool. I've seen things that's that are cool. like seven and ten dollars. So that's a lie. Yeah, Dollarama, they go up to, they have like, two, you know, they go up to $4. Four, but mind you, $4, I mean, for like the stuff you get. Yeah. Is right. Cool. Come on. Yeah. And, and you don't even need it. You don't even need it. You're like, oh, oh it's, it's only $2. I mean, I'll get you it, just, you know. Yeah. yeah. I'll get a six so pack, like, like an eight pack. This is from the Dollarama. These are from Dollarama. Really? So cute. Oh, quality, right? Right. Yeah. So cute. Yeah. I love and that. You think of, yeah. Mickey, I now like you. Trish did, a, Trish, did a fan make that, um. Elf right behind you, that, that little statue of you. The big head. And his name's on the back, but I can't move her or else I won't be able to put her back. It took me so long. To fall, fall. Fall. Is it Christopher, Christopher Lopez? No. Oh my God. He's amazing. We love Christopher Lopez. He made a, 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 a Barbie for me. Me too. <gasps> right? Oh my gosh. Wow. Well, I collect Barbies. So that was like extra amazingly. Do you wow. collect Barbies? What's your favorite one you have? Uh, probably my Vera Wang wedding Barbie is my favorite. Wow. Yeah, you're you're talking, you're girl. You're speaking my language. I love Vera Wang. There it is. There you go. Oh, look, she's look amazing. Look at her yeah. knee brace, too. Look Mine's at the box of the professional. I don't have that handy. Where are you? Why is that in your kitchen? <laughs> I thought it's all right. I live in a box, so the whole, my whole place is in one room. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love oh, my it. God. Well, yeah, but you have that um, Audrey Hepburn, too, that Audrey Hepburn doll, the Barbie doll, too, right? I have all, I have so many, yeah. a ton. You name it, yeah. I got it. And, and I, I have like that. love Mackie ones. They're worth like, like <gasps> hundreds of dollars. It's like oh, yeah. Mackie. Oh, oh my God. See, I'm, I'm yeah. a big Drag Race fan and RuPaul has turned me on to, and because she's a huge Cher fan, in turn has now turned me on to Bob Mackie. There's a Bob Mackie museum I'd love to visit. Oh, where's this? Yeah. Where's that? Have you, uh, have you guys heard of the show uh, that she did called AJ and the Queen? They visited it. I think it's in like somewhere really random, like Illinois or something. Someone made a Bob Mackie museum. Okay, well, wow. field trip, guys, huh? Me too. Let's do it. Got yes. you to use Bob Mackie yes. on the road. I like it. I love oh, it. We actually hey, I will say, Trish, do you remember the time when you came through town because you guys were doing the diner drive-ins and dives road trip where yes. you were stopping in all the spots yes. or something on your little trip? Yeah. I think you were doing the PR trip, but you guys were driving it. I had, um, my movie, I had a movie premiere at a festival. It was a movie festival. And actually, that was in Asheville, North Carolina, so we saw Adam there too. So we stopped and saw him. But on the way, yeah, on the way back, we just did the uh, what is it? Diner dives and diner dives. Diner, yep. Dives and dives, yeah. And then that, well, one of the stops, of course, was to you, and we went to the place, and then we had him out, and it was pretty awesome, right? Yeah, I think I've only been there one other time since then. Yeah. But they were it was delicious. I'm like, I can't even remember the name of the spot now, but yeah. We're I was like all about the, the foodie shows. But Mickey, we have to get uh, your outfit and, and we already started about because. talking about food, you guys. We already started talking about food. Well, well I'm an elf. elf. You could always make something if you needed to. I'll you tell know? you. I mean, Mickey might have a treat yeah. for us. Something edible coming up in a little bit. We might have some uh well, because I have a very my, I have someone very special here with me, but um, she's in there. She's in there really doing it. So I'm, she's going to come in later. She's going to come in and surprise Yay. us. But I am wearing this awesome, and I do have shorts on. Guys, oh, so. no. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. Oh, my God. Those shoes. She went there. Look at my elf slippers. You're so I'm cute. an elf. I was going to go with the ugly sweater, and I just found this downstairs as I was pulling Christmas decorations this morning, and I could not resist. <laughs> 
So oh, you had that? You didn't go buy it? You already had it in storage? It was downstairs already. So I had, I, you know, we, ha we had it from before. That's amazing. And I think my sister actually had bought this. And so I stole, I've now stolen it. And this is me. Lisa, we should and this is my sister, Latoya. Hi. Hi, Latoya. Ah, it's, look, she made Christmas cookies for you us. You made cookies wow. for us. Oh Hi, God. Trish. Hi, how are you? Hi. I don't know if you, you remember Trish. I, I, um, Trish, if you remember meeting Latoya, like when we from WrestleMania or something, I think yeah, it would have been a long time. In the little woman's yeah. locker room, I think I was breastfeeding or you were breastfeeding or something. Not each yeah. other, you know. Yeah. <laughs> As you do. That would be weird. <laughs> well, you know, we should have worn, Victoria, we should have worn our. Um, um, our, our Santa helpers outfit from, uh, oh, do you, yes. do you still have yours? I don't have mine. Do you have yours? Oh, you auctioned it off. Did you? No, you know what? My ex-husband had my storage uh -huh. and, um, you know, I did make a trip back to get my storage. So all my WWE stuff is gone. Are you oh. kidding? No. Gone? But God bless, you know, I wouldn't pay for my ex wife's storage for a few years you know what i mean like i don't blame them that kind of thing but you know, all that stuff well listen all. whoever finds it we're talking about a bob mackie museum there's gonna uh -huh. just there's gonna mysteriously pop up a victoria museum and you're gonna be like there's hey, all my stuff that's where it ended up all my stuff, you bastard. I'd, Give go. Me that stuff. I'd go i'd be in there <laughs> trish is like where can i buy tickets i love that yeah. mickey Sounds what are you good. drinking are you drinking hot cocoa you didn't oh. say you're gonna make an Something. We're drinking these this this Swiss Miss this caramel delight cocoa. It's really delicious. Is it delicious? Our little our little Christmas mugs, our little snowman. Yeah. Hey, and we have matchy, hey. we're matchy matchy, my sister and I. So you're you're a I delight. Egg nog. Egg and nog. you're a delight, Latoya. <laughs> it wasn't that funny. Inhaled. Don't choke. I inhaled my cocoa. Holy moly. Run, run, run in by Latoya. Run in. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I inhale with cookies and hot cocoa. I just inhaled. So cheers to hot cocoa. Yes, I'm having I'm having coffee as well. With some, hang on. Yeah. Hang on. I, I'm doing eggnog and I'm lactose intolerant. This is going to be a beautiful night. Oh, good. <laughs> oh my gosh. So Val, you just put more whipped cream on. Val, what are you wearing? Your little sweater. <laughs> um, well. Lots of, lots of sparkles, but in, here in England, uh, which I'm still adjusting to, I've been here about four years, I will say that the Christmas pudding is very, very cute. It's like a little round guy. Love it. And <laughs> I'd never seen that before until I moved here. Look at here. The, ball, the balls in the, the center. That's so And hilarious. I do appreciate the placement of the furry balls. Yes. <laughs> so this is called Christmas pudding? Yeah. Not, not, yeah, like like Christmas what pudding. About that, what about that black pudding? That's not a dessert at all. That's misleading, isn't it? That, that is. is. Yeah, I, I like don't know black pudding. pudding. Right? Tell us I about know I like it. That black pudding. Do you guys like it? Do you guys like no. it? I, like I don't it. want it. No, I don't I want it on my plate. Doesn't it? I, I like it. Here, tell us. What I, it is? I think I think black it's, pudding. It's, it's fried blood. blood. It's fried blood. It has right? blood in it. It's blood. <laughs> yes. Well, it's good for iron. You know, it's very good for you. You know. You know you don't what? Bruise so easily. You don't you, you don't bruise. Like, you don't probably. bruise very easily. Can we not look this up? We need to look it up. It's got we gotta figure out what it is. It's, it's got some, some kind of blood. It is, it's fried blood. It's fried blood. I've never fit, fit Finley. Well, it's not just me. fried blood, Lisa. It's gotta be some other it. stuff that's keeping it together. Yeah, you can't just like fry it and, it and eat it like a like I'm picturing like you know when you fry it up is like, black um, pudding. Tea, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> It's also like Hello. haggis. Haggis over here. I think it's like sheep. It's like sheep's stomach lining or something. I can't. Like guts or something. Or Ew. Oh, I've, I've had it. I've had it. Come you on, UK. It? Come on. What are we doing? Blood, blood weird funny. Food. Oh, you know what's oh. so fun is I've been, um, my sound thing has been on my, on my iMessage the whole time. So I have so much silly all like this. I was texting Mickey, I guess, and it's all on there. And it's so ridiculous. The banter we've just talked about. So I funny. love that. <laughs> when we first started this show, <laughs> trip, um, <laughs> Mickey, Mickey coined the phrase of like, okay, so we got to have like graphics and stuff. What are we going to call it? And she said, I think we're about to discuss what, what we're really going to be discussing is very important nonsense. And I think we've really come through with that. <laughs> idea. Yeah, right across the board. Very important. Vin, we got the Vin going on. I like it. Indeed. So Trish, tell us, um, because you're in Canada right now, do you have any Canadian traditions for Christmas that we might not know about that, that you treasure maybe from your childhood? Um, I don't think our traditions are that different than American traditions. Um, but you know, we just we 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 
since we're since I was since I was little, we've had my we've had my mom's side kind of has comes over for the Christmas Eve. And then, you know, as you get married and you have kids, you have to split all your Christmases up. And so right. what, what we've turned into is now like we I used to do, I used to host my mom's side on Christmas Day or Christmas Eve. My my what was that? My husband's would be Christmas Day and then Boxing Day. That's well, there's a Canadian mm -hmm. day. Boxing Day is the day after Christmas, which um, is not does not involve boxes. No. Or boxing. What is no. it? They used to boxes boxing. of gifts though, because everything's on sale. Well, this is true. It's true. That's the commercialized version of what's happening. Oh, sorry. That, I thought that was the deal. <laughs> well, this is true. It is about the deal. But traditionally, what they used to do is box up their leftovers and bring them to the poor people. So that was like what the tradition was back in the day. Oh. I don't necessarily do that, you know. Right. Shopping. Because there's no leftovers, because you're cooking. <laughs> So we can't. I bought lots of boxes for myself. Shopping, so <laughs> if you want to pick up the leftovers, but we gotta go shop. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Um, but yeah, and so and then then and then on Christmas and then a Boxing Day to have my the Greek side, my the big huge side come over and we would just eat up all the leftovers Ooh. and give it to the poor people. Sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just, and then um and then we would just you know be we totally come in like pajamas and be comfy and that was our whole thing but it was a lot to like do as it was okay in the beginning but as you had kids it was like oh, putting them in the bed and juggling them and it was just like resetting the the stage awesome. every night so then we finally just like had like almost like a, can we just do this all like can we can we we all know each other so now we just have one giant gathering um, on right. Christmas Day. So Christmas Eve is more intimate with the family. Then Christmas Day, we have the big giant. I, I, I literally rent tables. I have like 30 to 40 people. Are you serious? Wow. wow. That Greek family, man. It's crazy. But it, no, it, you, yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you remember going to Greek town when you took us to go eat of course. in Greek no, town? I remember. I oh. took Greek town. I'm okay, so you, Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, and, then, <laughs> and, then, and then we went to that club to go so dance great. with, the, with yeah. all the Greeks. Yeah. We did the Zambecchio. It's it's a uh, Greek dancing. Like you should have seen. It was oh man. If our if our listeners or viewers could have seen y'all. Oh my yeah. God. I wish we had video. Who was I know. it? Imagine if they had the if they had social media back then. We were so cool. <laughs> we had. We were so cool. By now, holy smokes. Yeah. Hey, who was with us? There was a whole group of us. Who was it again? Nick, because I remember that the, the waitress came by and said. Um, is anybody fans of lamb chops? And the, the waiter, the, the, the owner, I think, because they had stayed specially oh. open for us or something. I think it was the owner. That's or the right, that's right. Yeah. And then Nick goes, guilty. Do you remember that? You? No. Oh, and you remember. And then, of course, what, what do I always order? The octopus, the octopus leg. The octopus leg. Oh. Yeah. The grilled octopus. Yeah, it's so good. Oh. So that was a great night. That was a great, yeah. Guilty. Like he suffered this forever. Wasn't it a bunch of us? Wasn't um Cat oh, Cat Cat Waters. Cat well, yeah. um, Winters? Katarina Winter. Waters. Yeah, Winter. 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 Winter, that's right. Yeah. Actually her I think it's Katarina Higgins is her real name. Oh, oh sorry. Yes. Shoot brother. But it's been like, you know, through pseudo you have ten wrestling names. So just like you're always Victoria. I'm sorry. Just um, I know. I, I know. swap between the two. It's funny how some people's name is their like they stick with the gimmick name though and some don't, oh, yeah. right? Right. It's, it's yeah. hard to, uh, we, we, I, we, well, I've explained why I've, I've said this to Lisa and, uh, and Lisa slash Victoria slash Tara. Uh, Raj, <laughs> who is Raj slash Jinder Mahal, once said to me that he calls people in real life a civ, as in civilian. So, but it's actually kind of offensive because people are not in wrestling. They're like, what do you mean I'm a civ? I'm not, you know, I'm your real life friend. What does that mean? It's like, well, <laughs> but there is a lot of separation. So when I introduce wrestling friends, it's like, well, this could be, this is my friend Lisa. Like, well, but her name's Victoria. I'm like, oh my God, I can't. They don't. I know, I know. Yeah. When I found, when I found out um, Chavo's name was Sal, and I go, because his wife goes, Sal, I go, is your name Sal? Oh my <laughs> God, you're a nerd. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going, <laughs> So now I call him, I go, hey, Sal. He goes, okay, shut up, shut up already. Oh my God, I did not know that. That was, that's a big deal. Sal. Sal. Oh, I'm so going to text him now. What's up, Sal? Oh, <laughs> because his wife, his wife goes, um, said something about Sal. And I go, I, who's Sal? He goes, Chavo. And I go, his name is Sal? Oh my God. I was like, oh my goodness, I can't call him Chavo. That's and had you nothing. known him for like years and didn't know that? That's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I, call, I still call people by their gimmick names still. Yeah, but the best is when they have a really cool wrestling name and then you're like, hi, Glenn. And they're like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> well, of course you 
<laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah, no, I, I definitely go, go with Kane. You sound way cooler. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mayor, <laughs> Mayor Kane. Yeah. Mayor Kane. How crazy is that? So oh my God. You know, I was, my, I was visiting my cousin. How did this even happen? Oh, I was visiting my cousins. They were in Nashville, Tennessee. And uh, they lived there for a little while. So we went and visited. It was for Greek Easter, big, huge gathering. Well, my cousin's huge in the Greek community and it's a big Greek community there and with the church and all that stuff. And, um, and Glenn, Glenn is, I guess, part of the community as well, obviously as, a, as mayor. And um, I went, I'm at my cousin's party and I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> I see Glenn. I was well, like- he was there. It was, he was there. And I mean, it was, it was coordinated. They're like, they like, you know, kind of got, they got talking and blah, blah, blah. It was great. Right. It was so cool. So here I'm at my cousin's, um, you know, Easter party gathering with my family with all my Greek gathering and, and Glenn. Or you know, did you go up to him and say, hey, did you, did you was he in his hair outfit or did he wear his Glenn? cane now? What's up, Glenn? <laughs> yeah. So weird. <laughs> I'd like to see him. I'd like to see, there's the, the fangirl of me would like to see him like in his complete cane gear, like behind a podium. Like, so then, the economic system could use some, that'd be awesome. Please, please yeah. do it. If you're listening, sir, <laughs> yeah, just I'm sure he's a big fan of the show. He's probably watching right now. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Well, he's commenting. No, he's in the live chat. <laughs> probably in the chat room. Right. By the way, big shout out to everyone in the chat room because we know that this is going to be a fun, fun chat. All of our fans that are so loyal and they're ha part of hashtag Team Gaul. They've been asking for you, Trish, since episode one. So thank you for being here yes. again. Hi to the chat room. Hi, everyone. Hi, chat room. Hi. I'm here. Thank you for making it happen. Yes. Basically, awesome. they, they mentioned oh. your name so many times that you just manifested. That's what happened. There. That's it. That's what. That's right. Perfect. Yeah. Well, we want to talk about your latest project. But we, we've been yes, your latest the preview, project. The trailer for Christmas in the Rockies. You know what? Before we ask you about it, let's take a look at the trailer right now. Take a look at this, guys. I never imagined my future would involve wearing a blazer to work. I will be winning the annual Christmas lumberjack competition. Dad, I thought you retired your chainsaw. Someone from our family's competed for 50 years, so it's my turn. That is a lot of emergency vehicles. That's probably nothing. We have to go back. Everyone at Jolly Lumber is family. Dad! Dad, I need you to stay back. If you want your father to keep his leg, you need to let me do my job. <laughs> Dolly Lumber is burning money. Had a few tough months. And without the staff bonuses and the Festival of Lights, Christmas may as well be canceled. You know, uh, Harrison here is new in town. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> Maybe you could show him around. Oh, oh no. Uh, I, uh... Well, this is probably not what you want to be doing this afternoon. Oh, no, I love being set up on days by my dad. I can swing an axe. I can honor 50 years of family tradition, and if I win the grand prize, then Homewood's Christmas is back on. Marie Brown, you are gonna train me. Might as well learn from the best. Can't wait to see you in action, Katie. I'm coming home, gonna share that you love. Best part of the year, you know, it's Christmas. And then we'll just do it again and again and again. Your body's like, I got this. Yeah. Boom, saw drop. <laughs> Don't drop the saw, it's dangerous. In three, two, one, go! So Trish, tell us about this magical movie, Christmas in the Rockies, and your character, Marie Brown. Okay, so my character is Marie Brown. She is a champion um, axe thrower. I guess wow. they, they call her a lumber jill, you think? That's lumber, lumber jill. jill. Yeah. Lumber How jill. fitting, because we've had so many lumber jill lumber matches. Lumber jill matches. <laughs> so it, you had all the training all you needed. Those, all those, uh, so I should say thanks, WWE, for, those, for that experience. <laughs> I, I, it wasn't the same. I uh, didn't apply. I was like, bra and underwear. Do you want me? No. Put this. Nope. Gumber <laughs> <laughs> Jill. <laughs> um, no, it was, um, it was, I was in the middle. So I was like deep into home. So I think four months into the pandemic and um, like deep into homeschooling and like literally in a top knot for months on end and like no I maybe wore my pajamas, I think, every day. Like, oh, we were in that mode, right? And my, my agent called and said, oh, my God. And so, I don't know, but, like, Christmas movies? Like, do you guys, we all like Christmas movies? Love them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think they're kind of all the same. They're, I don't like them. They're cheesy. Is like, that's why you love them stuff, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Them, right? Yeah. So, it goes, it goes, I got this. And it was just a little part. Like, it's a cameo. Like, I'm not the lead. There's just a cameo. And it was literally a few days of filming north of where we are. So, it was, like, in our cottage country, which is, like, two hours north of where I live. Oh, and I was, like, there's a couple days of filming. I was, like, oh, my gosh. Yeah, let's let's do it. And I was, like, but wait, when is it? Because, um, you know, when you don't have things on the horizon, ladies, do we eat a little more? 
maybe. We, yeah, do stuff. Exactly. Exactly. Our life. So I was like, so so I, I got to be like diet. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> no. <laughs> I love it. Oh my goodness. So yeah. So then I was like, when is it there? So he's like, oh my gosh, I can't imagine it. Like it, we're in the middle of a pandemic. I can't imagine it's probably till fall or something. I'm like, okay, good kids back in school, get back my routine. I'll yeah, I can get back and working out and eating well. Um, and then our like government cleared some phase two thing and it was like film and productions was clear. And I was reading the, like reading the news thing. I'm like, oh, oh dear. <laughs> so then it got cleared anyway. I, so that's the side story is I made it. Right. I, for five weeks and got Trish camera ready um, but the awesome. film was so great like it was just a sweet little film basically they're a lumberjack town and um, there was a something happened at the at the at the big uh, factory there and, and then she went and then there was an injury and then the girl the lead had to go and meet the you know whatever the guy comes and next thing you know there's a love story and it all percolates and it's this whole thing but um, she had to save the company because she wasn't sure they could have Christmas bonuses and so then there's a axe throwing contest and if she could win the axe throwing contest then she could possibly win the prize money and then take care of all the employees for Christmas right so, amazing was it's like Tommy Boy Tommy Boy the teacher and was that? You had to teach her how to throw said axes. Yeah. So then oh. I came in. I was like, I basically a world champion axe thrower. I used to live in that town. I started off in that town. So I had my roots there. And then um, I came in to judge the contest. But then I ended up mentoring her and giving her, like, giving her the old, the Miyagi. I was giving her the old Miyagi. I was oh, going to oh, say, oh, you're, oh, the, you're the Mrs. Well, Miyagi well, of axe well, throwing. Well, basically, well. Miyagi of axe throwers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. <laughs> like, so did you have to learn how to throw yeah, axes? Yeah, did you learn? Did you learn how to throw the axe? Well, because I'm like a real, you guys know me as an overdoer, usually. Yeah, over you, so you did. You did. <laughs> so I um, teach me how to throw axes. Can you teach me how to throw an axe now? Ooh. Well, my, my yes. agent goes, I know what you're going to say and stop. You're not going to like start going and, and training and becoming this. I'm like, oh no, because in my last two movies, I got to do my own stunts because I was like, I'm doing my own stunts, right? Yeah, and it's the fun part. Of it with me. No, we're not doing it. He goes, it's a pandemic. Just leave it alone. Let the let the double come in and do it. And that's that. And I was like, hmm, fine. Um, so anyway, they someone did come in, but I got to play. I still got to play a little bit. So that was yeah, fun. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it was. It was have you guys awesome. ever thrown an axe? Have you ever thrown one? No, no. But I watch um, Jason Momoa throw axes all the time okay. on Instagram. Yeah. At my Whoa. heart. At my <laughs> heart. Had a thing on his Instagram. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> What's that? He like? loves to throw axes. It's I love weird. How, I'm the girliest one of the bunch. Like I'm the most non-athletic one. I bruise like a peach. You know, I'm allergic to physical activity. We all know this. It's a condition. Um, <laughs> but I'm I'm the girliest one. But when she said, "Have you thrown axes?" I was going to be like, "Yeah." You know where I've thrown them? Nerd alert. Where? Sorry. Renaissance fairs. Oh, oh my god. god. I'm not that indeed. That. Okay. I think, I think it's anger driven. I think of like an ex's face and I'm just in there like it's yeah. Fun. Isn't it like, yeah. it's like I love it. It's, it's cathartic. Like heavy and then yes, throw it and anyway. Uh, it's, it's fun. It seems like it would be it empowered. Empower. Sweet little movie. I had a blast doing it and it was very easy and it was just it was cool because it was like in the middle of like I said, I was four months in it, like just homeschooling and I was like, yeah, I need to talk to an adult, please. Yeah. <laughs> and so I gotta get out of the house. Please help me. Yeah, I was sending those <laughs> out and nobody was receiving them. So um, <laughs> um yeah, it was great to do that. It was a lot of fun. And then you know, just to be able to create again, because you know you hadn't done that in so long and to be yeah. great. And yeah. Like that. So yeah. great. That's so challenging when you're like so like uh at home and isolated to go get thrown back into that. You're like, why uh, memorize a line? Like, like, was it, oh my gosh, I don't know. You know, but I, you know what it is. The thing is like with us, right? Like you realize it's actually in there. Like you think it's, it's intimidating. Like, oh my gosh, am I going to be able to do this? But yeah. it's like, it's so second nature to us. Like when I went yeah. back to wrestle after a bajillion years and Nikki, you know this too. But when I went back, it was like, um, I don't know. So like I like like you know it, it's like riding a bike like your body's like no no I got this I know how to wrestle you may yeah. not but you know so it's like yeah, yeah. it's still and in there somehow you know what I yeah. find too is like every time we do these like production non wrestling stuff it's amazing like I'm sure Mickey you saw this when you're on your set of your video and you're working with other professions they're like oh my gosh you're amazing and they think you're amazing right because they we do have this knack of like uh, we, we do things on one take we do live performances we're used to working and, and we work as a team usually like with our partners etc whereas mm -hmm. there are right. a lot of 
actors are like, it's all about that one actor. And so we're extra nice to the people that maybe the actors aren't, you know what I mean? And they just think we're amazing. So it's interesting to see like the experience we had in our wrestling world and how it translates to like a different world and it translates nicely. Right. I think that especially in all this, like it's hard to, but from being on the mom side, I think too, because you've been so in that too. And I think with homeschooling and having to juggle all that through all this pandemic, but I think just creatively, it just makes us get at, do the stuff that we're really passionate and really good at that we just it's it's good to be able to do all that and plus it's an awesome christmas movie that i can't wait so where is it it's on fox nation so fox nation is streaming now so you can get it anytime now in canada it's going to be a premiering on uh, christmas eve like so uh-huh. yeah, it's tomorrow right so tomorrow yes it's going to premiere and uh and then it'll be available whenever so yeah i'm just uh it's exciting i mean it's yeah. something kids can watch right because like they can't watch my other movies <laughs> it's like uh maybe don't watch matches where mom's getting thrown around but you can watch this it's it just it seems like you said kind of christmas movies can be a little bit cheesy i appreciate that though i want to skate oh, right them, especially in this time of you know this climate right now and it just seems like a, a very feel-good joyous movie that we could all just get a get a little glass of cocoa a little mug of cocoa yeah. and just enjoy exactly yeah. what, what, what was the movie trish that um enforcement um uh bail enforcers Yes, I, no, I have my, I, I have my shirt. Do you want know to find my shirt? Because oh, we, we were at that premiere. That's the one I was. I talking. was. You were at that premiere. That was so yeah. nice that you came to that. Yeah. So you didn't even. I love it. We gotta so support fun. each other. That, oh, this okay. is like like during these times, like you know who your true friends are a little bit. Yeah, no, it's so true. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. Is. That's really what, why we started this show, and I'm sure you uh, can agree with that, Trish, is women supporting women is such an Im- important thing. And women empowering women and being there for each other is a big deal, especially when, you know, the industry is kind of changing. But I have to ask an acting question. So, you know, I've talked to the girls so many times about how I love wrestling, but I really loved it more so in a way. I respect the athleticism, but, you know, I wanted to be more of an announcer or whatever, and I loved the storylines. And some of the first storylines I remember were like, the, you know, the Trish Stratus and Triple H and Kurt Angle and, and Stephanie McMahon, that whole stuff, you know, kind of like a yeah. soap opera. I loved that. But, you know, you going into acting now, you were kind of acting this entire time in wrestling. So was it an easy transition for you? Because obviously you had the, ch- the chops to do it because I can think of so many storylines. You're in Mickey's storyline. Oh my God. Yeah. It was so, co- it was so layered. Yeah, and I, sure. I just want to know, is it easy to transition into acting outside of wrestling because you already did it in wrestling? I mean, I think it's easier for us to transition because we are used to performance, so to speak. But yeah. there is a different, um, you have to sort of dial it, <laughs> dial it down. It's dial it down, different. right. <laughs> because we're so animated. We're so used to being over animated because we're trying to play to the top. You make, like, if you think about it, like, it's so like, like, like you don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That, like, Simmer. I'm so mad right now. It's my face right now. <laughs> you know we're going to close up on that face you just made. Just FYI. Oh my God, my favorite clip was that one when you, when you, your feet flew up into the, I just posted it um, last week when your, your feet flew up into the, the screen and then, and then Lisa made a sound like your feet. And then you went in, I don't know, whoever's oh, doing it, it. hilarious. <laughs> Wait, what, what, when was this? It was on our show, I thought she was talking about WWE. Oh, oh, oh sorry, yes, your, it, was, it was your show. Yes, your show. Nice feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> creep. Because uh-huh. those, those creepy fetish people like their feet. I don't get yeah, it. That appeals to all uh, your whole audience base, man. You think they'll like feet? Show that soft oh, oh, hair. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Look, look, at that, look at that hook. That curves, but that's another like curve we didn't know about. Right, let's, see, let's see Trisha's holes in the socks. Close <laughs> <laughs> socks. <laughs> They're my Sunday socks, guys. Because they're holy. Holy, holy. Yep. Val's like, just Vicky, gonna, Vicky with, you need with, those socks so you don't slip crash. on your stairs. Yeah. Okay, oh so Trish. Trish, like Trish, Trish. Actually, uh, Mickey was holding the computer in her hand and she was going running upstairs and all of a sudden you see the computer just go and it went black. She fell down the stairs. I fell. She was wearing, I fell up the stairs, right? Slippery oh, socks. Oh, she was wearing slippery stairs. socks. Why were you running up the stairs with your computer, honey? Because I was multitasking and I was trying to go hurry quickly to go show them this thing upstairs that I needed to show them before we ended our Zoom call. It, it basically went, I gotta show you this, boom, 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 oh! And then it just went black, and we're like, did she die? What the, what, that must have been she so was momming so hard that day. Oh my I God, was we did it, and then we weren't recording, damn it. Oh, damn it. oh really? That would have been. Uh, that would have been. Yeah, look like a fraggle, fraggle rock, look at a fraggle rock. 
If you keep doing that, I'll put nice sound effects. Keep doing it, Lisa. Uh, well, speaking of the holidays, you know, um, I don't know if I just, I sent you the clip. I can play it here, but you know what? What? Um, so Christmas is two days away and um, Donovan got a really special message from Santa Claus. Okay. It was the cutest thing ever. So he's, Santa Claus has already written Donovan a letter to let him know he was on the nice list. Yes. Do you know about this? Does, have you talked to Mick about this? Mick? Yep. Yeah, I have. Yep. Yeah. Are our um, kids gonna watch this? Huh? Are our kids gonna watch this? I'm just saying. Mm, no, he doesn't. God, I hope not. Not <laughs> really hope not. Yeah, not really. I've been hope touching it. my fuzzy balls. No. So we were well, we were gonna tiptoe around it because I'm like, I don't want to spoil it, but it was such an amazing thing. And like yeah. he is the sweetest man on the planet. This is like the third letter that Santa Claus has written to Donovan and put him on the nice list and taken yeah. the time to do that. But then we got this video message from Santa Claus and it was yeah. just the sweetest thing ever. Can we take a look at a quick clip of it? We don't want to give it away, but- Don't Donovan, give it all away, yeah. Just between us, a little Christmas secret Santa surprise. Have a look at this. Oh, hello. Hello there, Donovan. Let me move this cap. It's your old friend Santa Claus at the North Pole. Oh, it's getting down to the, what we would call the nitty gritty. Oh, just a short time before Christmas Eve, that magic night. Oh. Wow. What? Who is that? Yes. What? Santa? What? Oh, I love it. So cute. So sweet. He's I can't. Thespians, right? Yeah. Dang, how we can transform. We've been doing it. <laughs> he sure is. Very nice. Are you doing the skull? Thank you. I've been practicing that one. <laughs> yeah, it's a good one. It's a a woman good. of many, many talents. I have to say, this is the worst part of the episode, especially because I'm such a big fan of yours, Trish Stratus. Thank you for being here so much. And we want to say thank you for being a grown-ass woman. And She's been fangirling quietly the whole time. I wasn't going to call yeah. her out. She was oh, so I nervous. I have. Yeah. Over? I don't know. <laughs> but, 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 but wait, wait. Um, my well, my more, birthday my in February. Eight, my eighth anniversary is a double episode. <gasps> yes. 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 I got to do yes. the Kevin yes. McAllister. Yes. Hang on. I love it. I'm hurt, actually. Now I'm, I'm hurt. turning 50. Oh, you guys, I'm turning 50 in February. We have to do something really like, like getting all yes. the girls together. And oh my gosh, the reunion. I love it. Oh this my was God. so much fun. Like, it, this was like so amazing. I can't wait. We should do this. I mean, even without a show, right? We should all hang out like we this. Just do this out. all the time. Yeah, yeah totally. <laughs> I mean, we can totally. put it on golf for, our, for you guys. You guys would love to see that. So, yes, we can do that too. Right. right. Yeah. I mean, I love it. This would be. A, have a Yay! Good I'm so yeah. glad you had fun. Uh, thank you for real for coming on. We guys like we could talk about a million things, and obviously, you know, we've talked about our wrestling. We've talked about your career, my career, Lisa's career, y'all, all how our careers have collided. But I think the more important thing is how we've still remained to be friends and share so many special memories and moments outside of the ring as well. And you know, yeah, for sure. it is. It's, it's super special. Like um, when like years later. You know, we haven't wrestled together in so long, but when we when we reunite, it's like, like it's just continuing on, right? It's like it's okay, like I get texts from you, even though I, I pointed that out to you. Um, so when 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 <laughs> Victoria texts, she doesn't use exclamation points. So sometimes <laughs> I'm like, I can't wait to see you! Exclamation point! And she writes back, "Me too." Period. I'm like, <laughs> Wow, don't hurt yourself. Because and then I had to explain. I do I audio know. messages. And oh, I do great right. to text. I do, I can't. I, look at these fat fingers, Mickey. You you know my pain. I can yeah, text her. So I end up pressing the exclamation yeah. point still five times, no. and I'll time. put a question mark and an exclamation point when I'm yeah. asking the question enthusiastically. Yeah, put the opposite of Lisa because you're so vibrant in personality that you'd go. I, uh, uh, but I'm terrible <laughs> at texting you guys. I'm horrible. You guys know I like Next audio time message. When I get a text for you, I want to tell you guys something. I've had the best time! Exclamation point! Exclamation point! Exclamation point! Exclamation point! Question mark. <laughs> sequel? Trish, what's the sequel? Sequel. Emoji. Emoji. Sequel in the Rockies. Yes. Uh, oh, that's the best one. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. There this entire great. show since oh, May, we've talked about how you do the, the, the doll thing. Well, you the doll eyes. Yeah, and, and then we always say yeah. that Trish does the opposite. Oh, you can do it too? I thought I was just winking. Val, let me see. Oh. Okay. I'm just I, winking. No. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm just weird. flirting with you. It's getting weird. <laughs> I like the guy at the end of the bar like, hey, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a terrible flirt, clearly. 
<laughs> but Mickey very often does her doll eye, and you said Trish is the other person that does it. It freaks Lisa out a little. Yeah. 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 About me, her, her, me, me, her, me, her, me, me, her. Me, her me. Oh, <laughs> that yeah. was the rocks. We can't end the show. We had, um, we had pitched the storyline where we were going to do for all, full on that kind of character where we we're going to come on and be like, meet you, me. But then I don't know, it got stolen. Do you remember getting stolen, Mickey? It got stolen. I do remember a certain. Oh, oh, oh. Um, I don't know. They were just out there. You know. No figures, otherwise known as, uh, I don't. Oh, oh. oh. Me, him, 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 me, yeah. me, him, me, him. Yeah. No, no, girls, you can't do that. That's stupid. That's Silly. weird. Why are you going to do that? I don't know. I want to see that. Okay. Because it's funny. Because it's funny? Didn't you guys just see that? No, you didn't? No. Okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, what? Oh. <laughs> yeah, that happened. We're watching it go, oh, yeah. okay. okay, like, we're fine. We don't. But, what? No. So but fun. You guys are getting royalties on the idea anyways. I know. Are you? Am, are you? I'm like, are you? <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah, the OGs and, every, and honestly, I did say to the girls not to be super sappy Santa. There we go. There's a hashtag, super sappy Santa. Uh, it, it's very <laughs> exciting for me to, to talk to some of the most respected women in wrestling, my favorites, and of course, to be surrounded by strong-ass women, grown-ass women. So again, thank you for being here, Trish. We don't want to keep all of your time. We will definitely have you back if you're up for it. Love it, for sure. Thank Let's you. Yay. Guys, I'm so happy you guys are doing this because this is so much fun and it is a nice chance for everyone to see like the real us because as you know, often interviews are very, you no, know, and then, uh, you know, when I did that uh, main event match, which is a great story, but I mean, you can literally go anywhere to find it, but to see the real us and have the chance to just like do this, which is, it's great. And I think the fans really dig it. So congrats on this. And, and thanks. Oh my gosh. Anytime. So much. We always want you here. For everybody, when I say Merry Trishmas to all and to Merry all Merry. And Merry oh. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is the word to go, yo. go.